Okay, so for this problem, um, it says that the company is required to pay uh, 79860 which is due three years from now. And uh, the, the company invests 15000 in a bond with a modified duration of 180 and all these other things. So we want to find what DMOD is. Okay, well, the first thing with the minimization is that we want to find the present value. So... Conventionally, whenever we want to find the present value, we always just start with the liabilities. So I'm going to do uh, 79,860, and then I'm going to discount it by uh, the number of years, right? So I'm going to do 79,860 times 1.10 to the 3. Oh. Uh, seven nine eight sixty one point ten to the negative three, and get sixty thousand. Okay, so sixty thousand. Now we also have to make sure that that the duration of the assets and liabilities are equal to each other as well. So we're gonna solve for the duration of this liability as well. We're gonna take the cash flow times the time that it's occurring on, and we're gonna discount it by the number of years back. So we're going to do um, 79,860 times 3 times uh, 1.10 to the negative 3. And we're going to divide it by 60,000 and we're going to get 3, right? So now, uh, once we get 3, we want to set up an equation in relation to the assets that they give us, right? But everything is in terms of modified duration. And in my belief, I think that... Um, making sure that the durations are equal between the two are is most conventional. But since they're only giving us modified durations, I guess we'll make a modified duration equation. So for this liability, it has modified duration of 180. And so now once we always find the duration, we want to multiply it by the weight. So what is the weight? The weight is the asset, how much the asset is worth in relation to the present value that we initially uh, saw for, right? So we're going to do uh, 15,000 divided by 16,000, and we're going to get 0.25, right? And then now plus uh, mod D, we have to find the weight of this one. So we'll do 45,000 divided by 60,000, we're going to get 0.75. Now, we, we only found the Macaulay duration of this. We want to divide it by V to find the mod. So we're going to do 3 divided by 1.10, and we're going to get 2.72. Now we're going to solve. So we're going to do 1.80 times 0.25. We're going to get 0.45. Then it's going to be 2.72 minus 0.45, right? And then divided by uh, 0.75. Wait, no, uh, this is, uh, hold on. Yeah, this is 0.75. 3 divided by 1.1. 2.72, yeah, so we're going to have 1.80 times uh, 0.25, and then we're at 0.45, so... And we're going to get, uh, well, I got, from solving this, I mean, I guess um, we should include more decimals to make the answer exact for 3 divided by 1.10. Right, I'll add an extra 72. So I'll do again uh, 1.80 times uh, 0.25, and then we have 0.45, then 2.72, 72 minus 0.45 divided by 0.75, and I'm getting one more number out of it, so it's 3.036. So it's closest to one of the choices that they give us, which is B.